Welcome to SRB TV. We are here. Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of SRB TV. I am Chris and I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at Titan Season 3, Episode 3. Hank and Dove. Previously on Titans. And speaking of Hawk and Dove, um, we got to see um, so where Hank was. We got to see where Hank both Hank ended up pretty much, and their relationship uh, with. Uh, we got to see where Hank and Dawn were. Mm -hmm. um, they were in DC. She was still being Dove. He was a, a DC cop. Yeah, he decided it looked like a low level, a very low level DC type of cop with a sweet stash. Uh, we also dog. got introduced to Red Hood. Yes. Uh, with a bag full of heads, um, and then it went from there. Um, some crazy people with red hoods going around. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned Nightwing. We found out the police have been using been uh, working with Scarecrow. Uh, been working to, with uh, 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 with Scarecrow to profile psychopaths. Yeah. Um, found out he hits he hits the four twenty um, to calm his mind. Um, but eventually, but eventually, and after one kind of fuck up at the bank, they were able to um, find out what was been going on. Uh, Dick takes on Red Hood. Turns out to be shock of all shocks. Uh, Jason Todd. Jason Todd, where uh, again, pretty much, they didn't draw this. They did not decide to draw this out. They decided, hey, we're just doing it in this one episode and take it from there. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Now, now it sounds like we're diving a little bit into uh, Hawk and Dove themselves. It sounds like this from the title of this episode. Yes, Hank and Dove apparently. Hank and Dove. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see where it goes from here with the, with the, with them two and their relationship or at least friendship or whatever they have now. Um, and also, what was he? Yeah, he did bring that up. Uh, so let's just dive into this for Titans Season 3, Episode 3. So here we go. Thought so. You know what? We got that way too. Yeah. It's one of those things that I have to, I have to verify. It's a comic book world. There's probably ultra reality versions. You could be rose out of the grave or some shit like that. Kidding. This is Jason we're talking about. It makes it complicated for everybody. We need to forget he's Jason. Put blinders on. Otherwise, people get soft and someone gets hurt. No, yeah, he's, he's right. right. He's right, though. He's just trying to do what Bruce wants. Why? Because Jason's his brother. Yes. Well, he's not mine. Give me ten seconds alone with that kid. I'll make him wish he stayed dead. Side effect of the camera. How can I help you? Send a message to Bruce Wayne. No contact found. Bullshit. Language, Mr. Logan. Do you prefer French? <laughs> Ready to record. Hey, Bruce. This is Gar. I know you gotta be checking in from somewhere, because Batman wouldn't abandon the only family he has. Yeah. Come on. This is elaborate. If he really needed help, he would have like told you exactly where he was. There better be a chalupa at the end of this. Gotham City Gym! <laughs> Underwear too. What next? Full money? How you say? Hey Chris, hey Chris, you're gonna get your dreams. Seen this movie. For tips. My dreams? Really? Yeah. Present accounted for. Hey. You beat the shit out of him. What happened? Oh! Just get it out of me. Is that a bomb? It's a gift from our pal Jason. We're just gonna call his bluff. Jason's crazy. Where I come from, you come after family, we show no mercy. How much time do we have left? The average resting heart rate is 80 beats per minute. Uh, mine's a little closer to 72. 4,300 beats per hour, that's less than four hours. Ooh. That's I fun! I'm going to block the trip. It'll slow down his heart rate and buy some more time. <laughs> What's this? It's a karate massage. 
Someone's got to keep your heart rate down. You just want an excuse to get in the bed with me. <laughs> That's it, Fred. Who says an orgy's not relaxing? <laughs> Detonation implant, Wayne Tech. Patented and everything. Specs are there? Reading them now. Reading them. Reading them now. Wait. Hey, hey, we have to go up against Batman technology. It's designed to help perform the military's most sophisticated electromagnetic explosives. So they're building one for your how to get out. You got this. <laughs> you got this. Thanks. Thanks, Gar. Like I, said, I really like how they upped his intelligence pretty much in this for, at least for a uh, con. Well, yeah, don't forget, he has the DNA of Lexum, to too. Yeah, he's got the, the genius level up there. Dad, I get one right. uh, See if you can sniff out some bourbon while you're at it. Godfrey agrees me at the pearly gates, so I'm gonna tell him he's got some competition. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you think he's in hell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're not being Alfred. I don't know. I was a Batman, I'd say. I think it was a bomb strapped to his chest. Oh god damn it, really? No, that will raise your heart rate. That's gonna raise yeah, your heart, heart rate. I know, right? I remember that from the first Crank movie. No, the second Crank. Was it the second Crank? And movie? Hulk movie. So, yeah, the whole incredible Hulk film. As it's going up, I see it goes slow. It's gotta be going up at some I point. I guess the guy's good at maintaining his heartbeat when doing, when doing the nasty. I don't fucking know. If she does it, it not in a costume, that would help. Of course. God damn it! The boys have got the catamaran either. They're just waiting on their cat. Thank you, Garfield. Let the boys know we'll take her out. <laughs> Maybe this place has a big enough chandelier. Hey, when bats have sex, they gotta have something to hang from. Goddamn scared. It's a hell of a situation we're in. Yeah, it is. Women do worse though, right? South City, <gasps> old Chilean dude with the elephant guns. You pretend that you're a bird man sent from another galaxy to make the peace. <laughs> yeah, you handed over that big ass gun, didn't he? <laughs> he did. Let's go down. Seems like he's just bombed though, he's gonna fuck this shit out of Don. I know, right? That's the first thing I was thinking like Hank. Extra large wine and add jalapeno. You're killing me. You know me. I'm going in, I'm going out. Listen, Hank, I just wanted to say. God damn it, I swear to God, I'm tired of death. Suicide Squad yesterday, now this show. Fuck off. Please, for the love of God. Don. Who invited that guy? What did you do? Really? Guys? Guys? What about me? Don, stop! This is what he wants. Let him have it. He wants to the John B. Seal. Shit. Fuck, it's gonna be literally that. Like every TV show movie we know. She won't say thank, he's lying. Hey, bad boy! She's a grown-ass woman. Let her make her own decision. Come on. Come on, Connor! Come on. Oh. Zero. Go. Go.
was sadistic. That was fucking sadistic. There's a war now. Fuck, man! The Kelly's had one DC show or movie about somebody fucking dying. Holy shit. Holy. This is only the third episode. This is only the third fucking episode. I just want one DC property where somebody like doesn't croak it. Can you just hit one DC property where somebody doesn't croak it? Please? That's all I ask. Oh my god, man. That was Titans Season 3, Episode 3. And god damn it. Why'd it have to be Hank? Uh, fuck, our silence says it all. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. That was such a sadistic fucking move. Making the trigger of the gun the detonator. In the end, Dick was right. If they would have stuck to his plan, he would have lived. He would have lived. If they would have st stuck to his plan. <laughs> Shit, man. Now it's war. Now it's like... They, it's like... Oh, and by the way, one's being resurrected by the end of the season, so... That's some great news. So we lose one to get another back. So let's see. Joker's dead. Mm -hmm. And now Hank's dead. What was it? The universe has to bounce shit out? What the fuck? Ah! Yeah, this episode is just about Hank. It's just about Hank, and then the biggest issue that, like, Jason had, even to say Hank had, which was that impatience. Mm hmm That need to get it done. You gotta remember what, uh, he's, he, the one thing he's got, Dick's gotta remember is what Hank told him, going, don't make him separate this family. You know, so hopefully, you know, it's like, it's like he, you know, now it's up to Dick to try to keep the family together. They keep the Titans together and all that. There's something seriously off with Jason. Way off. Because, you're gonna have to, people will correct me on this, because I'm not, like, I know Red Hood, what reason Red Hood was created for Jason Todd was, it was just to kill the bad guys his way. This, you know, kill the bad, in a way, he wanted to have the control, pretty much, and then eventually, over time, he became more of this the anti-hero, you know, that's about it, where it's like, he was still good, but it's like, he, he did it his own way. You know, that's it. You know, and... But instead here, we got somebody who legit murdered one of them. Mm -hmm. Instead. Like... It fucking sucks. It really does. I was not... We're only three episodes into this season, and they already killed off one of the characters. That's been part of the show since season one. I should realize it when they flash back to the scene in the di in the cafe. When they flash back to that. Yeah, when they start doing the flashbacks, you know, okay, yeah, it's over. It's, they're, they're, doing, they're literally quite literally doing flashbacks. You know, and... Damn it, man. They're seriously... Like I said, I think it's the chemicals. Whatever he took is the replacement for, like, the Lazarus pit warping the mind. That's, that's what they're doing here. I think that's what the thing is here. I mean, that's why they're changing it up here is whatever he was taking it has been warping his mind a bit and it's got, it, 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 he's, he's been in so deep that it's been, his mind is fully warped and now it's like it's gone, you know, of who he truly, he truly was before. You know, now he's Because just, that was, I, well, I would say it was, it was such a clever move by him to make the, tri make the trigger, the fucking the gun. gun, the gun. The gun, pretty much, where he's like, "Oops, I actually gave you and the trigger." And in the long run, Dick was right. If we follow his plan, he's gonna do exactly what we want mm -hmm. to make us look like the bad guys. And in this case, he made he made Dawn look like the bad guy. Yeah, he made Dawn look like the bad guy, pretty much. He's trying to make the he's trying to have the city turn on us, and we don't need that right now, pretty much. We it's like we need to show the city that we are here for them, you know. And and and, and again, it goes back to even what Hank said, pretty much going. 
you know, don't make them split this family up. You know, do not. You know, we are strong. It's like we are stronger. You know, we are stronger together. It's like do not make him, you know, destroy his family. I, and I don't want it to him to destroy it because of me. This is where you kind of want your boy to have flash levels of speed. Yeah. Because you know you will gotten there at like the very last second. The I was hoping last. that was gonna happen. I was hoping at least by the time it hit like like that one second or something like that he was gonna hit it or at least you know somehow I, I don't know do something. So was. my theory, it's a really stupid theory because I want Hank to live, is that. I don't know, it's it's such a stupid idea, but you know what? I've seen stupider that at the last second, like, crypto ripped it out. We'll have to see, we don't know. We, that's that's one thing where we're, we have to hope for. And that its whole thing is gonna be one giant swerve towards Red Hood that only, a sl only one or maybe two Pete members know that he's still alive. He was still alive and they had to keep it a secret just to kind of pretty much keep that surprise alive. I'm, that's what I'm hoping. I don't think. It's I'm hoping, that. but I don't. Yeah, I'm hoping that too, but I don't think it is whatsoever. It sucks because now I got we get pretty much doing a memoriam for Hank because he was one of my favorite characters. He was a fun character, and this season he started off as the fun character too. We you know? knew everything for his life was going perfect except for Dawn. Once he made up with Dawn, it's like fuck. That's it. That's it for his character. He made up. He made up to Dawn. And pretty much we got the flashback, so it was like that was the, this was his moment. Pretty much that's how come this episode was titled Hank and Dove, very much the death of Hawk. Pretty much, so yeah, it's a very, very, very uh yeah. Um, I guess the only other thing to bring up is that um Starfire had her episode, but looks like she was in control. It looked like she time. had control of it. it looked like yeah, but that moment part. there. With uh, because even they didn't notice anything wrong. They were just looking at the screen still, but um, it's not full control. Um, but yeah, man, this is this episode, man. It's just okay. Uh, no, that's it. I'm wrapping up. Uh, this was a this was a memor a memorial episode to Hank, pretty much. And I that crazy theory probably won't come true, but you know what? Only time will tell. Um, uh, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about DC original series, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought this episode. Um, you know, coming into this and see where everything had gone. Um, what was happening? Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on even uh, you know mainly on Hank's death? Pretty much. Um, do you believe pretty much that he's still somehow alive and they're gonna probably, probably maybe keep it a secret or he's dead, dead? And, I, and pretty much, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, it's thoughts and theories. Everybody could be an optimist of like what what really went down or what happens. Um, I mean, let us know what you guys' thoughts are, even on where they're going with Red Hood in this season so far, where he's at uh, with the whole, you know, do you think it's, the, it's still the chemicals? Do you think it's still, maybe there's somewhat, like, secret, like, League of Assassins, you know, maybe something, uh, they are still a part of it somehow, it's very secretly, but in the shadows? Um, or do you think it's just more of, like, again, the chemicals that he's been taking that kind of has warped his mind to the limit to where it's like, we've lost fully, we've lost Jason Todd fully? I mean, let us know what you guys' thoughts are. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall to this episode. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. And of course, guys, on the next episode of SRB TV, dealing with Titans, because unfortunately we still gotta watch this show. Mm -hmm. uh, so, joke, all jokes aside, uh, season three, episode four, whatever it's called. So Blackfire. Um, oh come on! They're not even gonna let us mourn. Motherfucker! Next episode I already saw it says the next episode is titled Blackfire. They're not even gonna let us mourn. They're so going, going, going to into Starfire's the issue, next, uh, Which is Starfire. The next side story. We're, we're taking a in. pause on Red Hood because you just murdered somebody. So until next time though, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very, and hopefully not final, Hawk filled episode of SRB TV. See ya. Later. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.